This episode is sponsored by Cube Gallery, a progressive art space in Cebu, Philippines, providing network and exhibit opportunities for contemporary artists with whom they work closely with and promote beyond the local reach. Currently in Cube Gallery, Kidlat's Mundane Rituals. Uh, we recently interviewed Kid Lut. You could uh, I'll link to it in the show notes as well. He we interviewed him. Great interview, and it was a treat to see his work in Cube Gallery. Kid Lut's works have been archival in nature, believing that in order to elevate people's consciousness, mundane things and happenings around should be given high regard. So his works delve much around Elias, that's his son. So to date, Mundane Rituals pushes further the story of his son and that of his own to what resembles and celebrates the familiarity of the common and ordinary experiences others have imbibed and practiced. Yeah, head on over to Cube Gallery. They still currently have Kidlat's Mundane Rituals on exhibit, if you can't head over to Cube Gallery's physical space in Crossroad, Banila, Cebu City, you can also check out their online collection at artsy.net slash cube dash gallery. Links in the show notes. This podcast is also sponsored by Hondurao Pizza. I've had a lot of conversations in this podcast, even before the Hondurao Pizza sponsorship. A lot of musicians and I myself have mentioned Honduro Pizza as a great venue for local music. So if you're looking for a place to chill, a spot that supports local artists and musicians, a place to enjoy delicious homegrown pizza and ice-cold below-zero beer, look no further. Visit Honduro Pizza. They have got, they've got a lot of branches uh, they're listed on their website. You can head over to HonduraoPizza.com or you can have their wonderful pizza delivered to you via Grab Food or Food Panda. Thank you, Honduro Pizza, for sponsoring the episode. Let's get to the show. Welcome to 032 Conversations, the podcast where we talk to creatives, see how they live, and how they do their work. I'm your host, Carlo Villarica. First of all, I'm not a crier. Like, uh, my wife will tell you, she's a crier. Steph, li- like, she doesn't like to cry. But I remember before when we were dating, and then uh, I was really amused because... Every time we would watch like a romantic comedy, and she would cry, like like really ball out cry, and uh, I, I I thought it was very endearing at the time, and I still think it is very endearing. But so anyway, she'll be the first to tell you that I don't cry. I didn't even cry in our wedding day, unfortunately. <laughs> Funny story, but anyway, yeah, I'm not a crier. But a few days ago, uh, my firstborn Manu, he slipped. We were, so he was he was taking a shower, and uh, what I've been doing lately is I let him uh, take a shower by himself. Like I'm usually outside. I'm like you know right behind the curtain, but I try to let him you know figure so he can kind of get some autonomy and uh, you know learn how to do it himself. I don't want to be bathing him forever. So he was in the shower and he was uh, bathing himself, and then he slipped on the tiles and he hit his head. And, uh, I mean, he was, in the end, he was fine. There was just a big cut, like, over his eye, like, near his eyebrow. And then, you know, it looked a lot worse than it was. I mean, because Manu was crying and everything. And then it was it was a deep cut. And then uh, there was blood. You know, we were putting a towel over it and... and uh, Blood was coming out. It, unfortunately, unfortunately, it wasn't gushing out. It was just like, you know, it was kind of bloody. And, uh, you know, a couple of minutes later, he was totally fine. But the thing was, like he, he was actually in high spirits. So the thing was that the cut was kind of deep. So there was a discussion whether he needed stitches or not. And then we just decided to bring him to the ER. So by the time he was in the hospital... He was in re- in a really good mood. He was playing, so we were we were there in the ER, and he was probably the most joyous, uh, uh, what do you call that, patient in 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 the hospital. Anyway, so he was there, and then uh, we talked to the doctors, and ultimately, 
we decided, yeah, it's probably a good idea to have it um, stitched up, right? So I guess it's part of the process. So of course they have to, since he's a kid, he's unlikely to stay still. So they had to sedate him. And then of course after the after sedating him, they put like anesthesia, that whole thing. It was a really weird experience. Because okay, fine. So let's say he hit his head, he got hurt, there's a cut. I'm kinda used to that. Like he's I'm I mean, I was a three year old boy once too, and I'm sure that I got myself injured many, many times. I mean, I'm I've I've got myself injured so many times growing up. So this is all just part of growing up. But when they sedated him, and then you could see that like it was like he became a different person. It was like it was like his energy was totally depleted. He was just looking into the ceiling and then he was wondering what was happening to him. And then he tried to say words. He tried so, you know, he tried to say like mom. He tried to say mom or dad, and it, but it would come out like mom, dad. You know, and then it was such a strange experience. And then it was it it felt like it felt like uh I mean I knew in the, you know I knew logically that we weren't losing him, right? He was still there, he was just being sedated so that they can, you know, stitch 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 his wound properly. But it felt like it felt like we were losing him, you know, in, in some weird in some weird way. And um it was hard. It was hard to see him like that. And uh yeah, man, I can't lie. Like, uh, I started tearing up a little bit. Yeah, so, but, so, you know, they put stitches on him. And uh, all's good. So, uh, we're hoping to get the stitches out today. Oh, yeah, so, in uh, well, in a few days, depending on when you're hearing this. Never mind, forget, forget time when you're listening to this podcast. But anyway, we're going to get those stitches out soon. It's totally fine. He's a great kid, currently sleeping. So I'm, you know, trying to do this podcast intro while he's asleep. And this episode is sponsored by Kent Combs. Full disclosure, Kent Combs is owned by my really good friend, Jason Almendras. He's a co-founder of 032. And if there's one guy I trust with good taste, it's Jason. You know, I think before he got married, his uh, description on social media was something like, I like nice things. Jason Almendras, I like nice things. Which was code for, you know, he likes really cool, fashionable, high-quality stuff. So, if he decides to rep something or bring something in, I know it's really good. So, introducing Kent Combs. Guys, it's time to stop using your girl's hairbrush and get yourself a decent comb. And not those mass-produced plastic, rubbery things you get in the grocery. I'm talking about Kent Combs. Kent Combs are handmade combs from Britain's oldest hairbrush manufacturer. Their handmade combs are made from large sheets of cellulose acetate rather than being molded. This material is tactile, flexible, and strong. And they have rounded teeth which ensure a smooth and comfortable action. That glides effortlessly through your hair without scratching or damaging your scalp. Do your hair a favor. Buy a Kent comb. You can follow them on Instagram, Kent Philippines, at Kent Philippines. That's Kent, K-E-N-T, Philippines. Or you can order on the assembly online. Use the promo code Kent, that's K-E-N-T, for a 10% discount. Head over to assembly.032.com slash collection slash Kent. I'll link to this in the show notes as well. Kent Combs, thank you for sponsoring the podcast. In this episode of 032 Conversations, we talk to Eric Tuban. Eric is one of those guys who behind the scenes is doing... A lot. He's doing a lot of stuff. So he runs 
he calls it a little label, but uh, it's a it's a label called Pawn Records. So Pawn is a Philippine-based multimedia publishing group which specializes in pushing bold and forward-thinking literary sound and visual art projects. So along with Pawn Records, he's got uh, Pawn Press as well. I think Pawn Press is the literary arm of that. Under Pawn Records, they've got quite a number of artists. So they've got the Spirals, the Pervs, the Subspring. We talk about the Subspring. We talk about the Subspring in the podcast. I uh, discovered them while... I discovered them while uh, researching uh, about Eric Tuban. Uh, Mural, Highway 7 Circus, Bumbo, Pluto, Ova. Man, Bumbo, Pluto, Ova. I'm, if you've listened to this podcast a lot, I've mentioned them in a few podcasts. They're like one of the <laughs> these bands that, that really shaped how my band played live. So they've got a lot of other bands there. And of course, you know, the Spirals I just mentioned. The Spirals is one of those bands that we played with quite a bit. And they were always a treat to watch as well. So he runs Pawn Records. Um, he's been a big curator of music, especially here in Cebu. And uh, yeah, we discuss we discuss it. Uh, he talks about it as a non-profit business in the sense that, you know, it's a business because money is discussed with artists, etc. But it's not really there to make money. And uh, Eric's been mentioned in podcasts with Wesley Bacareza and Michael Anthony Curran. And um, so it was good to really talk to him, to finally just talk to him. Because, you know, we never really intersected while I was playing music back in the day. So it was good to, it was good to get that connection. But before we get to that interview with Eric Tuban. Uh, I'm going to be hosting an Ask Me Anything episode anytime soon, maybe in the next month or so. So if you have any questions that you want to ask me, feel free to email uh, your question to info at 032.com. That's 032 in letters. Just make the uh, subject line question. And also, lastly, if this is your first time to listen to 032 Conversations, we have a new episode every Tuesday. Subscribe to this podcast. We You can find us anywhere you can find podcasts like Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, whatever. Hey, let's get to that conversation with Eric Tuban. Hey, uh, during high school... Uh I started listening. I, I was still living in Katong sa Dumaguete pa ko during high school. Kaya sa Dumaguete ang gigo ko then nang ang signal sa NU NU 107 maabot oh. maabot dito sa mga kay dolmi sa kanang dagat dito. Oh. Uh, for some reason mag medyo karat-karat pa so good. Nya mo to kay na nagkaklaro so mo to NU 107 was really kanang influential in kanang uh, getting to know the Cebuano music scene sad kay Moto uh, usually uh, magatang yugo at if kanang every Sunday na ikanang show ito ng mga Indaro ah. they would interview these local bands uh, yeah kanang matang yugo ato matang yugo ato and then kwanza every Saturday na may kanang show ng mga kanang uh, sa remote control Saturdays niya kanang to mga makadumog ng mga music from local bands so that was tantalang uh, early 2000 to and then when I was kanang pag college na ako, nibali na ako dire sa Cebu. That's when I kanang mag ko sa music scene dire ba kay murag ko kanang uh murag ko an mga nang na dire na nga scene dire. What year ka nibali na college ngay? Eh? Uh mga I don't know. Early 2000 nga pa mga maybe 2003. Ah mo ba? Something like that. Well, 2002. Okay. Well, mo na ba? That's the part that I missed. Kay wala kay katong ni college magus Manila. Ah, so, oh, so that 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 part of the music scene sa Cebu. What na kung ayaw? Let's take the kahayag na ba to? Kahayag and uh, Honduro katong na sa dito pa sa Mabolo oh, uh, katong oh, oh, oh. nakana. And then natin kana mga packet 
events sad. I remember the first event I saw when ang live ng Lingnaw UK ko kay katong uh, this event that Johnny Punk put up when mm. mga siya. He has this label ng Irresponsible Records. Yeah, dito to gi dito gi held sa Turtles Nest. Kanang ang Turtles Nest nakanang uh, karon maram siya bar but back then it was like a garage. garage yeah. yeah. And then dito mga kanang uh, held of events and kanang mag- I remember going to a gig there high school pa ko. It was this band from Cagayan. Mm, okay. Ah, I'm blanking on the name. Nancy Spanjan. Nancy Spanjan. Yeah, 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 they were they really played. good. Oh. They were really good. Yeah. Yeah. I thought sila. they're gonna be like an urban dub level sa sila na ko ano. Oh, um, okay. They're really good. Although kanang different. Different gito sila. Uh, Nakapalit ko kung like I remember seeing ah, them for the first time. After that one uh, performance nila, mm. I think nakapalit ko ilang kanang burnt CD oh. na good or something. <laughs> Oh, they got also okay, so that, oh, oh, like yeah. yeah. Ah, I remember them wow. being so good. Yeah, they were really good. Yeah. Ko ansa the village, the ano nung kasi the village. Ah, sa IT Park. So oh, kana na mi. Kato na kato nag the village no ba? Eh? Kato na ane mga gigs ana. Nana ko sa nana ko ah, sa Manila, Manila ato. Na so like the gigs that I would see, like kana bakasyon nga ri. Mm. Like kita ko like. Wolfgang Acoustic. Ah, kita sa kato. Niya kato? Oo, oh, lingaw. Oh, lingaw. Okay. Nindot sa tumay. Nindot kayo siya eh. Huwag na man, kung ano, kung ano, limbao, timbalibo, ito nga. Oh, ay, grabe, may kaito. But I think that's the only gig that I saw sa The Village. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, dito sa kato, nakita ko, ang junior kilat nga, marag, ah, oh. wow, kanang nga, marag, this is something, marag, kina, musikat, ganun nga, marag, marag, something nga, marag, ma-blown away ka, magkuhan, bang, minaw, ganun, marag, connected kay sila sa audience with all like junior kila. Uh, eh wala ko kita sa junior kila katong heyday gid nila katong paggawas gid sa sa so, ganito katong ilang like basta dead at like that single uh, amor gusto gid kayo what so pasilib to the in 16 sa dagan sila go na rata tata tata na tan time nga nag kan nag PBB si oh bitaw that's right yeah man tawon dat pa ni sila Oh. Yung sikat na. So, kato, so, more or less, kato, that, that time. That that era. Of that music. era of, oh, it's an eh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. When you went to my, like, so what about that that time, ba, yung amurag, you know? Um, uh, ay, wala kayo nasa Dumaguete at that point? Uh, na nasa Dumaguete. Kay, uh, I remember sa high school, kita kong eraser heads. Hmm. At that time, yeah, amurag. At that time, amurag siya, um, amurag si Joel Torrey, amurag ito, nagkawa na to, kanang amurag niyo, Hell check event it though. Then there's uh, basta all star ka. Kanto dagan tong banda na eh, Eraserheads, True Fate. I, I don't know, I'm not sure, but dagan tong banda from Manila. Sa dum, ni uh, Sobars like Dumagete. Oh, uh, yeah, magling ako kay mga tong experience. And then, uh, kato mga good murag. The way I see it, kay mura siya. When you go to a concert, is kanang murag. Murag naslay yo bitaw. So, uh, it's like if you're a band, you're just one way. You know, you're like delicious. You're kind of interactive in a ah, sense. Yeah, like the big concerts. Uh, yeah, I always felt that sad. Like, do you do you play? Um, so now, nah, but it was like more like lingaling. Ah, wala kasi nito kaya mga gigs ano kaya? Tukar sa 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 tukar if nakatukar ka, most likely, most of your gigs will be those like, oh, yeah. smaller the events. Smaller, yeah. more intimate. Oh. Yeah, lingaw, git kayo. Um, two-way conversation with the audience. Yeah, with the, I always felt like the bigger... And on paper, nindot kay tanaw ng mga mm-hmm. like, bigger venues. But once you're there, kay mura mag... Uh, well, Naku kayo ang space. Mura siya, uh, yung compare mo siya, kanang, you're uh, watching a spectacle instead of like, uh, you're trying to uh, interact with the band. There's, there are people who do that really well though. Ha? Kanang, kanang, oh. Like, you know? Nandiyan ka ng mga showman in terms of kanang uh, like, mga banda mga performer. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, kami were just like a rinky-dink band. Yeah, so, lingaw so, ito. Ay, yeah, lingaw, but like, lahi or good ba? Lahi or good nga hmm. the experience needed once you have like a big, uh, big venue. Uh, oh, anyway, so, oh, so you're looking at those big concerts as like a one-way conversation. Ano niya? Yeah, ah, uh, moto niya. Pagkamunta ko sa Cebu, murag, moto nga, murag, oh, ah, we, di siya weird, but kanang, in a way, murag, eye-opening bitaw kay kanang, 
mo to nga event nga dito kita nang mga tawel ganay kayo kana mangilog og mic ya kanang magdili mo di mo to mo spit ang tawo ka tre mo sayo sayo ra sila ya kanang tuyok tuyok na i don't know what it's called ah uh, slam dance ni slam dance oh inana ba ay kanang they just Banana, pogo, they do a pogo or something. Is that the one that magkamba kamba ka mga tao niya? Basically, oh, shoulder kanapod. slam, every people yeah. on the side. Na, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nasa'y ka ng certain way ka na magtuyok-tuyok sila. In a way, maraming magdagan, bakit ka na mag-slam? Ah, uh, yeah, I've seen those. Oh, banana. So, wow, nanay, nanay. <laughs> uh, as uh, ka na ng audience, marag, mga koan ka ba, marag mga, I don't know what's the term, ma. Ma-alive ka in a way nga, magpakita, ginana nga, marag, of course, ka nang lingaw, malingaw sa kasa ka nang nag-perform at the same time, ka nang malingaw ka nga mag-gohan sa as being an audience. Mm. Mm. So, that, that, so you saw that here. Yeah. So in Dumaguete, it was more of like, alak, lagi, like these big uh, bands coming uh, in on yeah. Yeah. big concert. Big yeah. concerts. Yeah. But I'm sure now, na nagit oh, na na, na nagit Uh, na na like na na mga events kaya na na but compared to kuan uh, medyo tame dito dili kayo kanang uh, well, uh, depende sa siguro sa kanang music na music scene like ato kay ang ang natiran kay mag punk scene yun so yeah. it's more wild nan kuan ba karon ah antod karon you yeah, should tell me about it bye kay ako kay mo lagi kay you know I know, uh, ako, I don't get to go to many, mm-hmm. many gigs na kaayon. I remember um, one time si mm-hmm. Ate Shaq, uh-huh. mo picture picture mato siya gigs before, like oh, katong, uh, di ba? I, I think ni tukar sila gig. I think it was you guys gihapon. The, the one, the one you brought in um, this band from Manila katong Kapitan Kulang. Oh, that was uh, last year. Yeah, uh, last year. Oh. I saw pictures si Morglinga ako kay siya. Panya. <laughs> Mula ba? Like, I haven't been to gigs like mm-hmm. that in a long time. Just, you know, just kay, uh, you, know, you have kids and a family so. or whatever. Yeah, like, you have to prioritize other things. Yeah, yeah. Pero, what's so, so naman ang scene like now? Ang scene karon is, I don't know, I would say nga, sa una, it's more uh, genre center, like, lahi-lahi ang There's like metal uh, gig, there's a uh, punk gig, yeah, marag, line line, but, but now, you see, yeah, marag, your genre doesn't matter anymore, like, sa uh, sa mga klase mong uh, music ni ito, but as long as ka nang, I don't know, like, you have that certain aura or energy. So, okay, marag, karun, marag, uh, the way you say music with this, So now uh, you you base your ide- identity uh, on a certain genre like uh, uh, punk okay mina ko punk but karon na si grow older mag oh na bisag kun sana lang uh, you listen to what you really like so in in, 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 in terms of kanang sa music scene uh, mo invite me og banda not on a spe- spe- specific genre but kanang ganahan me we like this uh, band when I want nindo tela energy and uh, nindo sila ka storya na It's more of Milana bit, oh. Yeah, especially now, but like, and the way the way people listen to music now is very different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Before, the mm-hmm. like, now it's kanang. I'm sure there are people there who treat like Spotify just like radio. Yeah, but rock, exactly. Oh, you know, oh, play rock music, or whatever no. genre, and yeah, and then they just it just goes on. So no. everybody has a very specific, no. um, kanang. What, what, like type of music that they uh, like but like super specific uh, no? yeah kaya medyo niche niche nga kuhan music uh, yeah like so, so when, but when you organize the gig so that's under Pawn Records Pawn uh, yeah Pawn Records mm. but uh, before that kaya nang organize I was part of a uh, kaya nang label before Pawn yeah mga uh, it was way back 2008 what was the label? Uh, uh, I did I Uh, it's called Bomba Press. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was part of that kind of um, uh, label. Yeah, malag uh, kato niya. Yeah. You were like to re- releasing music, kind of organizing events, and uh, yeah, what else? Oh, and then you just you did your own thing with Pond. Yeah. What's Pond Records, man? What is it like? If people ask you, and someone ng Pond Records, by 
Well, um, I would think of it as a more of a I'm curating bands that I like and helping those bands uh, mus- uh, helping them put out their music and uh, organize events for them and uh, so that's why I said more uh, it's a non-profit business because it's more of a ang kuan ni ang currency ni is more connection uh, with bands and also with connection with kanang salain nga mga outside Cebu bito so I really like it when kanang nay mga lain nga bands from uh, other parts of uh, the country nga sa Manila nga mo mo contact bito yeah, I think that's the real currency of kanang organizing events and putting out music. Mm. Why? How come you guys? Is it like I'm just curious with the like the because you're saying non-profit, not in a non, not in the usual no, non-profit ah, yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, charitable yeah. to it's somebody. It's gone, Wala wala tayo ang ako ay non-profit. Oh, so pro like is it a choice not to make yeah. a profit from it? Good or it, it's not a choice. Oh, well, that's the con. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, when you uh. Uh, when you organize gigs, when you put out music, kay, uh, knowing money the, out. yeah, knowing the climate now, nga, especially with now, nga, uh, when you uh, organize events, uh, you have to think of uh, the instrument, yeah, kanang, mostly, uh, kanang mga bars, nga, mag, uh, okay, natin na kayo, na, but mostly bars, bars, kanang, uh, uh, ilahara is, kanang, uh, they don't supply the music, instruments beta so you have to find it as a production ngabang pa ka and uh, so kana palandaan and then uh, mga kuan sa drone na uh, 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 like uh, event going people is dili um wala, wala sila sa naan wala sila naan sa culture beta nga mag pay you have to pay and beta but that, that's understandable man sad pwede ba mag the ako na bantayan is there crowds naman sa that pay na yeah, sa yeah. door fee yeah, it, we're diba? getting there na kanang mag nagamat hinay-hinay nagamature ba kay most yeah, imo na na ba kay ang uh, kasagaran imong katawi mong mga audience kay magnarbaho na so nana sila kay nang ka shell out na sila for entrance sana. Yeah, gidi kay kato sa una unheard of kanang local gig nga ginagmay nga na ay entrance fee. Diba? Yeah, yeah. Like, no one bisag <laughs> so, 50. Wag mo. Well, yeah. game organized okay, yeah, the 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 fear was no one would go. So, no? Ana, ana. For these days, about I notice na 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 oh, oh, totally, no? oh. Yeah, but nagya pay ka nang oh, it's yeah, not enough, yeah, but, because also before now that you mentioned it, I guess the because before there were venues nga naanadaan ang instruments. Oh, yeah, that, Bahala, that's, bate, bro. Well, gonna, that's a blessing yun sa kanang inana kwan. But then, uh, kanasa, nasa na yung downside kay, um, uh, say, mamili sa sila sa band uh, knowing nga nasa sila sa inanang position nito, they, they can, uh, like, they have the instrument, ana, so, mamili sa sila sa, ano, uh, unsang type of music, unsang, ah, uh, oh, yeah, in the end, uh, it's their yeah, space, it's their, they have the, yeah. work, they're gonna end up curating yeah. it the way they want to. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, say ako, kung na yung mga inanang, na yung mga uh, bars, nga na yung mga, instrument na daan, kumplita na tanan na. So, ang buwatan is, mili lang ko ka ng bandas at nga medyo ka ng, I would think nga, mara, okay, okay, bitaw sa space. Mo fit sa bar, mo oh. fit sa place. Yeah, exactly, ka naman. But, if I had my choice, ka ng, nasa ko yung mga bandang, ganahan yun ako, kuhan, but sadly, usay, uh, di li masugtan sa event, ano ba? Ay, di li masugtan sa venue. Yeah, ano man, like, what? Is it just too loud? Is it, yeah, uh... too loud. It would scare their, ka ng regular clientele, ito, ano na. Yeah, of course, uh, you have to respect them also. Oh yeah, yeah. of course, but oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I, mo- I remember well, at least for like, I remember like Outpost, for example, daghan, naagit to, daghan kay gigs nga to, but I know at some point, there were some people who were not allowed uh, yeah, yeah, to yeah. do gigs there, <laughs> uh, diba? Okay, I think, reklamo ang neighbors uh, or something. Exactly. Yeah, well, you know, what's it, let's say, mabuhat, actually. Oh, it's for a me, compromise. Al- so. Yeah, for me, Outpost was kind of perfect. Yeah, kay, yeah exactly. Yeah, well, I don't know. Kay, 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 the gig area was actually in the inside. Mm. So, if you don't have music, you can't go to the house. 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 You can't go to
You hear it, my brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. So, wala, alam mo, bango na yun ka, yung matanaw na yung kasun. Oh, Abirin na din yung door niya. Ay, lagi niya sila. Mawag ito, binuhatan sa unang, eh, nana. Diba? Nanood lagi din yung suod tabi, so sita, ano. Okay, but I miss, I miss, I mean, I miss those days, not because I'm, I assume there are versions of that now. I just miss it because I haven't been to mm. something like that in a while. But you know, just my lifestyle and mm. everything. Pero those were really, those yeah. were really fun. Good times, to me, Yeah. Bro. So, karam yeah. reglisod ang venue yeah. run, no? Na, uh, Kanang... Yeah. Mag, um, kansa, dasa, kanang kasagaram good sa among banda is, I mean, among rooster sa kanang label is, kanang Muslim na sa masaba, experimental, na noise rock, ana so, among yung tuyoon, nga mangita mi, ganyan yung makabuot mi sa, pa-decide mi sa kanang, sa kanang to karon. Mm. Na, but, What are the venues right now nga karun, working on that? Uh, Turtles Nest and uh, Azul. Azul, and, ah, uh, okay, okay sa langat to. Okay, Azul, oh. Ah. Uh, actually, ang pinaka, okay, Azul, kay kanang, they have, na sila instrumento, but sometimes, uh, ilang, i, kanang, abangan so abang sa mga mong instrumento so may problem how many artists do you have under pon <sighs> what we have but i would say dili mo gyud strictly we, we don't have like an agreement with that like you have, you are a pon artist but ah, okay how does that work with that amara is kanang by release like uh, we have this new single we have this an album we want to release uh, on the label in and out Yeah, uh, we have this uh, set of uh, recorded songs, and we want to we want it to materialize into an album. But that's where I come, come in. What, that's where Pond come in. Sad Bangmar, we help them uh, do their uh, al- uh, album layout, uh, put up uh, get uh, like uh, how do you call that um, album launch for them. Anana bitan yah. Apil na sad marketing like social media mostly marketing. Yeah, uh, so. Mark, that's the. I used to ask this question to like these artists. Yeah, mm. hey, so like considering that you can do mm. these things yourself. Yeah, yeah. But, oh. And then there are some that I get to do. But like for the majority of people, it's hard to do. Mm. Or if if kaya nila, yeah, but last late time in another. Yeah, I think I was talking to kana si Luis Kibranza ba from Bethany. Ah, yeah, Bethany. Yeah. I was asking him, "Bye, kana, you know." Uh, I forgot what I asked him exactly, but basically the short thing was, you know, what's what what for when you buy oh, yeah, sign exactly up with the label? Yeah. And he said, "Good nga, yeah, it kind of opened my eyes in a little way. All these little things mm-hmm. came work. Even, even yeah. this isn't exactly what he no. said, but even the smallest thing like getting somebody to take your photo oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. while oh. you're playing a gig, <laughs> kay, that matters. Too. Yeah, and then yeah. if you have to think about that." Mm-hmm. While playing, all of those things. Oh. And then that's just a small thing, the photo. Yeah. The, and then, oh, what about everything else? Like, kanang pagkuan, pagkin siya yung pamantay yun sa uh, gate, sa event, na nagkin siya yung pah- ipahandle sa merch, ano ba? That takes, kuan, kanang other people. So oh, manpower. Manpower, yeah, exactly, ano ba? So, kanang, uh, kuan, lang, fortunate lang, ah, dagan, dagan sa kong kailang, ah, marag, willing to help, ano, ah, especially with kanang sa photograph ah pwede na kumatawag si Ernest or si Dexter Duran na na would take photos mm. say, during events yeah and not just that like kanang kana like marketing the event yeah. you're known naman sa to have a certain flavor of event i assume med- yeah med- med- medyo edgy oh uh, uh, i've seen uh, the pictures for glingo mga <laughs> it it, it <laughs> It goes back to like those kind of work sweaty. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I get like, it's all male dominated, but karon, okay, okay, no, nang siya mga, kung ano siya, na yung mga, kung ano siya, medyo, na yung mga, kind of, babae nga, kung ano siya, but, ano na ba? So, how do you find out about these bands? Okay, for example, I was looking through the, the roster, and yeah, I don't know, What I do by is when I have a mm-hmm. guest, I just research lang good. Yeah, sige lang ko click-click ug mga links. Uh, and then one of the links that I clicked on was a mm. YouTube video of this band called The Subspring. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there was a, it was a video of the, the schoolboy. Uh, It was like... <laughs> 
<laughs> the video looked very kind of super lo-fi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, was, was like paki, like even the guy playing stopped playing at some point. And uh, really, the, the 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 song was yeah. so good. Yeah. Ako sila kipami na Spotify. Yeah, eh. yeah. Really Actually, at kung at kung ang story ato sa video is kana nagjud sila kana music video nga na shoot yun para tong kanta. But what happened is kana I think it was recorded on a iPhone or something or medyo kano bida. Then the thing is the I think their drummer lost the koan <laughs> lost the all the files so oh. wala it then so mura ilan na tangi cancel baban I think nega may footage so mula nito ilagi balik balik so that's the funny thing about it so, yeah kaya okay, I know the video was basically one shot oh. of them in a swimming pool kato yeah that, that that was only a part of the kada music video ah. ginon ta na mag elaborate ko and there was a story even in the music video but kato na wag tan for work work for me but work it kind of just matched yeah yeah end, I was, like I saw them for the first time never heard of them in my life mm. bro I looked at it I, I was listening to the music and I was like oh, I'm working out again you're like you're going like you get a feeling of what's like pakki ba yeah yeah <laughs> the leader from Manila yeah mm. ko an um Um, I've met, I think the, uh, sila ang first bandang ang contact for the label. Like, I napong ko sa Manila to the time I was working uh, dito sa Manila and then um, like, I had this friend who uh, was an, also in a band uh, who directed a music video si JP Conception. He plays Shay Mullet's uh, banda and then he recommended the band to me. Like, ito, pare, pakinggan mo na maganda ka ng moto that's how i met them like i went to their gigs nya and nagpailaila ko nya moto nan i ended up kanang nalato sila na record but the thing was kanang wala gani medyo very raw pa kayo kay marag ah, so what they have on spotify kana what? medyo gimmick uh, gimmick na, na i had a f- i have a friend from na working in Kuan around Middle East yeah siya ang gipa mix gipa master ah so that's under so the one that they have on Spotify now it's uh, what is what was it called uh, uh, manifesto a uh, manifesto Mar- oh, album, oh. Yeah. oh yeah. yeah so that's under pawn already under pawn na, na, ah. but originally it was kanang self release lang yun yeah Kuan yeah sila 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 na, sila mix oh, ana oh sila mix yeah Kuan good ang sayangan ko sa potential nito sa music nga mag You have this kind of parts that gusto me enhance, you know. So, kana okay, ramat sila nga. Nangit mako nga. Okay, ra ba to? Ato ni release, but we have to kind of master it para kana mo. Dilipit ako sayang yung effort kay. Oh, nisugod nasa sila. Nisugod tama nasa sila. So yeah, we ended up it. I really yeah. like that song, Schoolboy. Like there was yeah. a lot of kana mga. Mga very subtle guitar uh, things that he was doing. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, what? 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 So bef- so how does that work man like when you choose like a uh, what what compels you to go up to a band and you say hey ganang actually what's your spiel I'm so curious like let's say like you go up to a band and you go bye ganang we should I, I, I usually ganang uh, goan man uh, it's either ganang sila mo approach na or ganang ako mo approach sila but if ganang cases nga ako mo approach sila is kana kana usual nga mga icebreaker kana I really like your music kana uh, I have I have this label nya I have I'm thinking of putting out your music kana would you be interested na 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 ako ano then if mga chila o oh, and then uh, that that's well kana mga dia na mga sabot sa kana messenger na na what kana unsay lang kat unsay kana unsay arrangement between kana band and kana and, and, and the label So in the, in like in, in in those cases, do you, does the band usually shell out? Na let's say, sa kung sa pon ng case mo, wala did you sila mo shell out? It's ko an ra kanang kay um for first for example sa subspring kay mo na di ha di already have this uh, recorded material, but uh, ako I I finance the mastering and then the putting out of kanang physical release and as well as kanang online release. 
So wala na and then uh, I give them a uh, kanang uh, na sila share sa koan na sila share sa physical copies and then at the same time na sila share nako uh, sa kanang mahali nako sa kanang mga CD physical release. Then sa koan so in the case of kanang sa perfs kay uh, kato kay uh, na na sila material but they haven't recorded it. So, ang um, Neta Boys, timing siya nga na kay Amigo from Katong nga nagmaster sa Subspring. Ni Oli siya from Middle East. Yan, nasiga may studio bito dito sa Dumaguete. And then, timing kayo nga, ang Katong Banda, uh, the perps, um, ni, nag-tour sa sila sa Dumaguete. So, nyan ko nga, ato lang timing nun. So, that album was recorded in the span of like, maybe one day. One, two days maximum. Mo ba? Oo. Oh. Well, that's like my dream, uh, Okay, when we did like our album sa, sa, in, my, in my band before, in a way, kote kay siya. Okay. It's like, oh, sige, schedule ta, we'll do a guitar track, mm. uh, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday afternoon, and, yeah. and then, and then, yeah, ang drums, we went to, se- well, one of my studios, we went to a separate uh, studio to rent you to do drums, niya, uh, yeah. niya. Kote kay kote siya. Kote kayo, okay. Oh, oh. Gagad pa ka sa kuhan. Yeah, I used, I remember I used to tell Makoy, But there's different schools of thoughts, mong good. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, for example, we weren't a band good enough to do, like, metronome. Mm. Like, some, some drummers, sorry, Jay, but so, <laughs> some drummers can't really, like, you know, they, they, uh, they, they, they need to practice doing that, ba? Yeah, yeah. I was telling Makoy, we're saka, saka hassle, and you know, we're not, it's kind of lingaw lingaw, ba? No, I'm not. I was like, wait, can we just go into a room, unya? We record the live, record it live. Kanana ba kay moment that that's where our energy uh, was. I felt yeah. Oh, Anya ganahan magit show like kanan by trap, by limpio and ana. Let's just okay. But said obviously mm. a lot of music has been done that yeah, way. Yeah. Pwede mo talaga tong live niyo record mo tayo gamit tong guide as sa kanang. Ah, well doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. So basically, we did versions of that. Ah, okay. Like, so that's for like that sounds for me like ato like what you say about the pervs mm. like kadang they just went to. Mm. I assume they. I don't know how they recorded it. Ilagi track by track. Track by track. Track by track. Track by track. Oh, wow, in a yeah. day, huh? Yeah. Actually, kita first day ni ato me niya timing na nagban out pag yun. So it. Ang kwan eh. This is the timeline. Like Friday night, and then they were set to record niya nagban out. So it we ended up nang. Naka, uh, kuha na kayo sila record sa Sabado sa Bundag. Yan mo itong uh, Sabado sa Bundag, hantod, alas 7 sa gabi. And then, pag alas 7 sa gabi, ito ka sila like, duha ka gigs. Oh Pag-yan. my God. Kapag po yung nagaya niya. It's okay, man sad kayo. Marag, ang katong mga kanta nila, they've been playing it for like uh, eight years. Ay, and, yeah, it's uh, not like they're figuring out the songs. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, that, that really helped, sad. Sa mga taong yan. Mag-in a way, naman siya ka ng charm bito ka nang nakay ka nang uh, certain how do you call that mag um uh, di siya limit mo rag nakay mo rag parameters dito nga oh, we yeah. have we have this ka nang one day to mag challenge challenge bito no we have the, we have one day to record an album ma, ma- challenge ka in a way yeah oh, and in that kind of like uh, that's I, i i think that's that's why for at least for us i think i feel like that's why it took forever Tungod kay Murag, there was no real... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wala ka nang... Deadline. Oh, deadline. May pressure. Oh. oh. And yeah, those are... Kanang... Those pressures are actually very helpful. Yeah, yeah. Kuhan, ano ba? Kuhan siya, two-way. Kuhan. It's either advantage... You use it to your advantage ba? Hmm. Bro, how about this on Sunday ba? Like, di ba, like, karon like, with the current state of music ba? Diba na may more a lot of like online mm. like this whole publishing thing yeah. and uh, on yeah diba na man ay depending i guess depending on the music or the yeah. band and uh, sometimes it really amounts to real money like uh, you know Spotify streams yeah. YouTube Sp- music plays whatever it is um ko an sa YouTube ba pwede ko ex- ka explore but i've heard a lot of kanang nanay mga kanya but So Spotify mo ragkuan ka mayram kayo in terms of like uh when you reach ang naka sa subspring na ko lay disclose ko may marag, naka kuan ko maybe I don't know 10 dollars ah. when you reach like up to a certain place uh, pila ka play ang imong ang track so 
Ito mga 10 dollars. And that's it. And then I had to kanang mura, mura git do. Oh yeah. Oh, so oh, that, oh. in terms of kanang, if you're really thinking of kanang income, passive income, but maglisod kayo good. Yeah. yeah, unless like you're, unless it's the type of music that really caters yeah, to yeah. a broad pop Bro- audience yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, kanang uh, with um, um, major niche nung cha, so maglisod, maglisod tao kanang uh, find ina you know, uh, certain level of kanang quantity of income. Mm. So mo na, so then that's why like it's so for you guys it's better to have the the CD or the or the cassette. Yeah. Like uh I think I saw I don't know when this came out. Was it last year? Katong si si uh si Jude Jude kan sa Bart Brothers, Jude Bart. Oh, oh. oh sa Cross Three Runs. Cross Three Runs. Oh, so, they had a cassette. No, kami nga pinag <laughs> release ato. Yeah, oh. marag ko anto siya kanang this was kanang DIY kay to kay kami uh, kanang Nangitarong template ko sa online, sa pagbuhat o uh, kanang cassette. Ano, ako na ako rin buhat-buhat. Good. What do you mean? A oh, cassette ka na for the layout? You uh, mean, ano? Oo, oh, and then kanang nag-record ko nga kanang uh, nag-experiment sa kwarto nga na kanang uh, tape recorder. Yeah, katong testing nga na good from digital to analog. Kanang iba niya. Hindi na ito mag-sound. Mag- ah, so you, ka- you guys did it yourselves? Yeah, yourselves. Uh, oh. Ah. Yeah, even the kanang ang kona to kay uh, we bought like blank cassettes from maybe Lazada or something or online seller. And then we 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 ended up recording the blank cassettes and then putting stickers and adding the inlay It looked very legit, huh? It looked like a real. <laughs> I, I thought nga you guys had it pressed somewhere or on sa. Listen, mga ipangita ko ano dito kanang I'm sure mo press. Yeah, but now na minakitan nga mo nag impress na and then it's kanang muna yung next step nga mo nag ang release na mo is more kanang kung ano ipapress na yun na mo. So what's the decision? Why do stuff like that? Like cassettes for example? Like you know um, why, why do it that way ba? I don't know mo nag kung ano kung ano na kung ano kitan nga YouTube ni Shepard Ferry ba? Maningon siya nga Uh, listening to physical format is kanang pleasurably inconvenient daw. No? Kaya you ended up kanang makafocus yung ka ba? Like, no, kanang physical release you have. It's a very immersive experience. Like when you, uh, mudool pa ka sa cassette player, mo pag i-kuan, i-suksok niya, play, ng minana ba tao. And then, walang, murag, it's more, murag, walang na, murag trip-trip, kung kuan ba, kanang murag trip-trip, <laughs> Nasa, naman siya ka ng, also, there's an element of ka ng nostalgia, but okay, I'm sure, kita ang atong generation ka ng grew, grew up listening to ka ng cassettes. Nangatoy CD sa una, pero ka ng medyo... Mahal to? Mahal pa, so... Well, remember, 450 pesos, yeah, yeah. cassette, 150, 100 pesos. <laughs> oh, <pa sa'yo>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, so, uto, cassette yun na nadakaan ba, so, may certain element of ka ng nostalgia, ano Yeah, and it, it's true, and then it's very true so that the way people listen is very different. Like, like even before Spotify, like I remember nga once MP3s became a thing, yeah. and then I would just put my whole music library in my computer. Mm. When I found that what I was doing now was I was just pressing play on yeah, random. Yeah, yeah, whatever mm. music comes out, more lang na that, that I was listening to. But prior to that. I remember the way I used to listen, Kimurag. You listen to albums? Yeah, like, from, it's really good. Start, point A to point oh, B, yeah, yeah. start to end, uh-huh. good. And then, it really was like a, it's kind of cliche for a reason. It's really like a journey when you yeah. when you listen from the first song yeah, to yeah. the last. Especially yeah, if it's a really good album. Yes, yes, that's kind true. Kind of no, like, shitty songs in between. But, mm. bro, <laughs> yeah. Nyalahin na, then... Yeah, sa akin ganun, ay ka nang uh, makanotice ka na yung uh, certain certain narrative na marag, from this song yeah, mar- sa so next song na mar- in a way connected sila bitaw. Mar- na- na- oh yeah, sometimes even like sa fade. Yeah. Like oh. even sa fade in, fade out of the the two songs. Like mm. you'll have the last note yeah, of yeah, one yeah. song yung will come in siya sa, from, from the very first mm. part of the next yeah, song. Yeah, that's true. Diba? Mm. Yeah, I always, I always enjoyed said like the, 
kind of like, let's say the last song, and yeah, 10 minutes after the last song, na like bonus track, or like, next story story. Oh, wala, wala ka ng mga Easter eggs. Yeah. Uh, wala ka ng mga Easter eggs. Wala. Wala ka Uh, there's a reason why books are still selling. Okay, Murag, there's a charm in, like, kan siguro, kanang, in a way, acquisition of kanang, the things you really like, kanang, materialize, gitaw. You know, the, 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 that's the thing. But, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, in fact, before you arrived, I I brought this, like, you see that violet, uh, mm-hmm. that box, and that, that's filled with books. Wow. Yeah, no, well, it's not a lot, but they, uh, I wanted to put it, Okay, it was just there in my house, and yeah, uh, way, way, gamit, gamit, but yeah, I wanna put it in the shelves uh, here. Maybe I'll put a sign like, uh, "Feel free to borrow" or nice, something, uh, and yeah, just yeah. return it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, okay, we're yeah, that's true. It's nice, and then these are books like I felt like were important to me, mm-hmm. but no, if you want to uh, impart it to someone. Yeah, like I felt like I learned something from it. No. I don't want to throw it away. Yeah. And I've thrown out a lot of my stuff. Like, and then, uh, I, you know, like, I, yeah, yeah, I just don't have space for stuff anymore. You, you grow out of it. So you, yeah, like, akong, one of the one of the things that I, like, akong CD collection, I was holding <laughs> so yeah, it for, no. I was holding it for years. So, asan mo, imong gi, Ah, okay. Sale, okay, okay. at least ka nang... Ay, ay, ay. Wala akong gilabay. Habi nang gilabay ka. Wala akong gilabay. Wala akong gilabay. Like, isa ka, like, murag, kasi tawag ka na, ka nang butanganan sa CDs, ka nagahan ka kayo. Like, rock? CD rock? No, or? no. Like, ka nang murag notebook siya. Ah, yeah, yeah. I have this too. Ka nang murag, oh, oh, murag, paan siya na. Like, yeah, like, I have a big notebook, ka nang oh, full of CDs. Yeah. yeah. Sold it. I don't know, ako, okay. gina na akong wifey. Kano bahala, kung sila ito siya. I love you na, kung, kung give kung uh, kung nahalin na or anything, right. of course somebody bought it. Uh, there's comfort in not knowing about it. Okay, yeah. So the books, those books are some of the last things nga mm-hmm. I haven't really let go of. No? Ling, okay. Say, ako pa kung ano ito. Mung appeal na kung tan na ako kaya ito. Yeah. Well, like when, the, when was it? Yeah, yung mga gan. Last year. Mung ba? Morag. Morag. So, yeah, okay, yeah right. maybe someone... I think last year, mm-hmm. or uh, at, at most two years ago, very recent. Possible kana pa to nang sispanjer ng CD kana wow, yun yeah, na ba kaya ako? Natay, I'm sure natay kana ng mga listo tayo pang itaon nung mga. Yeah, CDs. I don't know sa dili man kayo ko, dili kayo. The thing so with my collection was that it wasn't like super kana ng kana ng kana ng nindot git kayo kaya at some point once the internet was around. Oh. Wala na, dali na kay ko nag ni, downloads internet mm-hmm. but there were some like local stuff there nga I remember there was like a compilation CD of wow. some of these local bands I forgot na the names kana like back in early 2000s mm-hmm. ba ana uh, mga yana smurg aling hour sad to just <laughs> you know, in a way kanza you're uh, you're sharing your kanang curated music sa So, ah, yeah, um, at least it's at least magamit. Uh, it's not just thrown, ba? Oh, yeah, at least you know someone would listen to it, ano, diba? May ta. Hindi, uh, at least, yan yeah, yeah, kung ipalit, so, yan yeah, ito ba minahon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, kaya like I saw, um, ako katulog like, si, si, si Jude, Jude, mm. Jude kind of Bart Brothers, I interviewed oh. them, I went to their their house. Yeah. They have like a, they have a music collection, right? Yeah, yeah, kami ni Kwan, yung so, ni Bart, kanang, uh, Kuan, kaya may vibes, kaya may pareho naman ka nang ngitaw ka ng mga hard to find, ng mga plaka. Na. Mm, lagi. Oh. Hindot kita na ako. Nasa kagrabihan niyo eh. Lingaw eh, lingaw. So, when did you start organizing gigs? Siguro, uh, pinakauna nga gig ang uh, hinumduman was 2007. Kana ikaw git mismo nag-organize? Ay, oh, uh, duha mi ato sa ang amigo si Chino. Dito to sa Uh, FNB sa Labangon. Oh, yeah. So, oh, I was, remember that place. Place <laughs> <laughs> back. Kala itong memory. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Ito, uh, it was like uh, Halloween event. Dugay uh, na uh, 2007. Then, I remember nga, ang may nung lumala itong, there were like 17 bands on the list. Oh, ba? Oh. <laughs> so, Parang puro sa kailagan. Yeah, Lingga ito, kaya ka nang nag-costume kuansan. Yeah. 
Amo ba? Ah, uh, namo rag ah uh, si kay no dumo si ati siya kata nagwan nga nagtutoro siya costume niya si Jan Sande nagganang pinapulis sa costume oh. yung linga ko itong event. So I think that was to wait way back 2007. So did you have like an outfit? I mean sorry like not a Halloween outfit like a kanang kanang what do we call that like a prod name? Did you have one before? Um, saan ito itawag? Kaya yun siya. Kaya yun siya. Bomba press. Bomba press. Yeah, mga. Uh, was, oh, uh, muti ka na. Um, actually, it was for, ah, uh, kanang, kung saan, uh, an, uh, an event at the same time where we launched our zine, mm. music fan zine at the time. So, muto. Ah, uh, so that was your, like, your first gig? First gig ito na, 2007. Yeah, ever since, like, kanya, yeah, what's up, man? You guys just decided nga magsigil lang mo organize Did you organize a lot of gigs about that time? Um, I, I don't know if a lot, it, we would consider it a lot, but kanang siguro, um, not ma- monthly, but I would say nga mo, makaupat niya sa katuig. Mm. I remember we also had, basta kasagaran dito, yun sa FNB, and then we also did sa Iscario, wala na lang ng bar, nasa ka nang sa Peace Bar, sa dito sa Iscario Gapon. So we've seen during those uh, days you we've seen kanang ang venue na uh, at one point they exist and then a few years later wal, wala na mawang ang bar and then kanang line as nga bar and then ano ba a succession of kanang one bar to another <laughs> okay mo eh, we ended up nga kanang murag mawang bar ka ho man mo pagig bit up na to sa our murag course mo na pa ba ng FNB sa labangan mo na apa but mura ko ano mencak na ng mura siya kana video key house ngayon na dito imim na na lang yun ba ah wala na gigs nga to last na ko last year mura na apa man to but dili na kayo na tas kana ng frequent as kana ng saun na pumili remember playing in FNB once once or twice yeah yeah sa atbang na mura ng internetan oh yeah 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 that's that's the place oh yeah I remember kato niya to me And you're like, well, give me lingo. Like, mm. uh, kinda, we're, we're there. And we're like, oh. Kinda, we, at some point, there was a point where we just did a lot of gigs. Uh, so, like, we just wanted yeah, to try yeah. different things. So, yeah, like, while waiting for our slot, yeah, to me, sa internet cafe, yeah, nagduwa me yung Dota. Lingo. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, we're yeah. the F&B. And we're all lingo. Saan to? Lingo. Okay, man, sa dito, kayo ka nang, well, ka nang, dito mo ko, kat amo tong ito yung mga kasagaran ng kailat do doon na dito ba dito. amo ba oh yeah us usam sa to sa kanang pinaka one of the kanang at atong time mga tuyo kanang kwan at tuon yun nga event venue ba tuyo anan kay to show eh yeah. yeah, walay parking walay parking <laughs> oh i remember that walay parking <laughs> yeah wait medyo sketchy pa kaya go <laughs> akong pinaka Akong pinaka favorite nga sketching a venue ba eh, was the Zubu. Ah yeah yeah, I remember sa, that no. Sa Colon. I, ah. I remember nga nag nagkinsa nag discuss ato about katong uh, there's this uh, event nga better yet don kan nagkay ka discuss ato at what ah, you, you, you don't get you don't oh, you, you don't, just don't get it. You just don't get oh. it. Oh, kana, I was oh, also that, on You were there? No, na ko ato. Indot kay tong event. Indot kay event do. Mike I mean, nami ato so nag nagtukar ni ato. Tukar mo ato. And then dili man to ko hindi pa rescue a hero yung gida ato, di ba? Uh, rescue a hero. Sober sober music. I had like yeah, I had yeah. this more like, solo outfit uh, kuno hay. Pero uh, an dito ka rescue a hero gya po. Ah, pero ka to di rescue a hero tong event. Uh, I think or, ate siya, as, or, I can't remember if na-appeal to akong sober musings nga. Okay, I, I remember what seeing sa poster na Katayin yeah, ba? yeah, yeah. You know, I I find it it's hard for me, boy. We're glissod, maglissod. I'd rather just be a guy yeah. on the side playing the guitar yeah. as opposed to. Well, I had look at the spotlight. Yeah, like, <laughs> ma pressure ko ato. That's probably one of the last few, the last times that I did that. Kimurag, kana hmm. makabulyas so kaya di ko ganahan. No, so linda to gan, glissod. Yeah, so it wasn't for me, but yeah, I'm the rescue hero. And the predict the other like bands are so good, oh, grubby. Para ko matagal ng golden time of kanang for me at least for me matagal ng golden era of music sa katong katong time na you 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 will see this kanang nindot kaya nga banda, hugot kaya nga banda ba? 
Yung wood plane, kanang Zubo, ano ba? Mm, ako ba, mo push ba ko ano mga golden era of music? Eh? Like, everybody always yeah, says... Yeah, yeah, oh, gano, but it's diba, it's Especially like, the older you get, yeah, ako ito akong time, ano, ano. It's, it's personal. Uh, well, like, eh, kay, if you look at it now, like the artists now, grabe yung music ka, eh. Mm. Like, they're so... Yeah, oh. They're so good. Daghan, oh, daghan na rin ba? Yeah, daghan kay different styles na ba? Daghan na kay ka ng different... Mm. Um, You know, like I mean, I'll be honest. Like, ato, like, like the the like the with like Pawn Records. I'm not very familiar with a lot of the bands. Like, it's just you know, I'm just I'm just not no. But it's but I know nga, it's a genre mm. that should definitely not genre like a, a type of music that should definitely exist and that that is valuable to so many people. But no, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's... So. Any, any, what what can I pre organize like a lot of gigs now, right? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, for Pawn started around 2015. I don't know, 2016, something like that. Hmm. Nyan yeah. sa may mga like memorable. Ah, uh, kato. Uh, I think um to Kapitan Kulam ng event that was kana uh, one of the kato siya na itabo to kay true na kay amigo si Malot. Yeah, is friend with Lord yeah, Lord De Vera oh yeah then the Koyok mi nagatom ig Manila oh. yeah kanang we ended up watching their gig yeah uta naka discuss mi kanang yeah so you went up to them good oh okay kay kay ilam na yung okay. discuss mi nga ko an eh oy punta punta kayo si Bu nag game naman sa kasi sila so mo to nga kanang The next, next thing we know, we're set na mag date, ana na tukar, ana. So something like that, ba? You pay for everything. Yeah, we pay for for everything. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure na pagyun na TF, whatever uh, it is. Ana, kato ana. full disclosure, marad kadang what they go on, what they TF kay marad. Sila, marad sila minig ngon nga kahit wala ng TF, basta kadang basoro yung sila. Ah, marad na to kadang ko ano tani. Aling aling or sa tani la. Basta they as long as kamoy ko bayet sa uh, airfare, play, airfare hotel, hotel. Yeah, yeah. Mo no. Oh, uh, but then yeah, okay, cool. Kaya saw the pictures, murag lingaw, kaya yung sa tanawon. Yeah, ko an sorte sa to nga kadang si na photographer na di ko ato mag si Ayan Intong mm. na, oh he's so good uh, oh, oh, oh. na ni contact siya nako sa kuan messenger siya nga pwede mo shoot ko so oh, web lima sa ganang kuan pa na to so mo to yan yeah. yeah that goes back to what kanang Percy said man. Uh, like a lot of times if you're the event organizer lipay na kay ka if na ay like yeah, real photographer yeah. nga ganahan mo shoot sa game exactly oh that's one way of ganang marag validation beta ko nga mag if nga uh, kanang distinct exist nga mag ano validation chance yeah, yeah, some people way. want to document it somehow uh, uh, no some way yeah uh. yeah so like ever since 2016 so how often do you guys have gigs man um i would say uh, sa una there was a point nga mag monthly hmm. yeah karon medyo i would say mga uh, Siguro twice, ev- uh, once every two months. Ano, ano. Oh, depends or good on uh, the, on sa ni? Uh, depends on the, kanang, gana, gana, gana. <laughs> yeah, naman siya sa'yo, kanang, ang banda mo yun nga, magpa-event ah. Yeah, Tama ba? Oo, oh, sila yung mga kuhan, baka na, re- not request, but sila yung mga kuhan, baka magpa-event ah. So, sige, kuhan, nabangin lang ko kanang organize, ano. Ano, so, ano, doon mm. venue, ano. Yeah, yeah, or kadang ana sila nga nami release pwede bi patabang ni mo gan kanang set up og event. Ana. So when you say like ana when you do this like setting up of events and ana because you also mentioned katong nag nag message ta sa Facebook and mm. you wanted to you mentioned something about like the DIY music scene, mm. no? Can you yes. explain that a little bit? Can you well, talk about that a little bit? Like what do you mean by you know DIY music scene? DIY mo ra sa It goes back to what I said nga mga non-profit business mga bitaw kay murag you have no choice kay ulam kay choice so you have to do it yourself like what you're doing with ko an kanang kanang podcast you kanang, oh, yeah, it's just oh, me right oh, now oh, <laughs> anak, <laughs> in this whole in this room oh and yeah kay na way mura siya kanang being self-reliant and like uh, in a way mura siya siya uh, learning process kay sao na di ko kiba mo sao ni pag layout og album Unsa ang pagka nang setup up 
kinsay kontak ko na unsaon pag setup og event ya unsaon pag circumnavigate around these things ba so para na ko mo uh, blessing beto kay you learn a lot of things ya yeah, mostly uh, anja kanang it's an outlet for you to discover a lot of kanang kanang ways on how to do things ya yeah, uh, kanang diset kali kayat nga you uh, you ended you end up kanang murag uh, siya, um makatapal yoga sina na ba maka makagasto yoga sa kanang kanang ana ko mar that's a uh, that's a uh, that's a given na bitaw okay. kay some people would kanang uh mag mag save sila para travel and uh, or they save money for that but ako i i work to, uh, to save money in order for me to like uh, put up events again i'm muni ang akong outlet bitaw yeah i think so, si it reminds me you very it reminds me is very similar to atashak she yeah she basically said the same thing I'm like, oh. oh like kanang uh, Oh, na ba mag-save para mo do their hobby, whatever ah. it is, like travel or or whatever. Uh, ako magbisikleta, mga na mm. they save up niya sila. Your hobby, oh, yeah. quote unquote hobby, <laughs> hobby. is music basically. Okay? Oh. It's it's making sure this thing exists, mm. de ba? Exactly. No, yeah, okay, yeah, I I can't. I can only imagine that there's like this kid going to one of your gigs and yeah, more realizing, uh, oh, it's like, mm. nah, man, yeah, same, same thing as you, yeah. ba? So, oh, oh, eh. oh, like, you know, know. Actually, can notice you if you can, uh, can I, like, although, like, a term, but I like, tao, I can, new, new person, new person, new person, sa scene, kay marag, kasagaran biya kana kaila ra ni mo nya maka notice ka ba nga nalagi ka ng mga kuan so mag mga kuan ba mga kanang ma discuss yo sa kanang kuan nalagi tay bagong kuan oh um, yeah ganang murag bagong recruit ang tarba malipay me ba malipay me for sure ni mga kita ka nga do they do some of them do something yeah oh kanang murag kuan sila usay kanang duol sila ay nabiya ko kanang banda kanang singanan kay nana nana sa oh open up sa kay kuan na so Ginana bitaw nga murag you uh wala nimo tuyo ang uh, ganahan ka mo imo halingaw-lingaw ra niya you ended up nga uh, murag uh not in a way influence but kanang murag na sa kay ma asa tawag na Actually, the word really is influence <laughs> <laughs> or kanang big, maka- big inspired term. sila oh, to inspired lang siguro ano oh to really do something do something oh uh, yeah murag kanang yeah, ganana bitaw yeah. i know like I, i know at least for me like kanang like ma, the at least for music to be a musician at first kita ko sa ako mga classmate nag sigig to car to car but eventually i remember going to a gig and then that's when it was like wow kanang kupiha de ani oy like <laughs> I, uh, i remember it for me like it was like watching like Sheila and the insects oh, they were so good you uh, know uh, kanaon live ang goan si yeah so good it's good so bad. Yeah, ko an jud kanang uh, from music to lyrics kanang well thought of jud bang ako an. They really yeah, uh, Rabbi. They, you could tell nga they really put a lot of kanang time and effort to what they're doing. Yeah. Kanang they I can tell you if it's a good kanang experience if at the time like if ga like late na kayo, uh-huh. late na kayo 1 2 o'clock na. I'm watching the gig and ana ni ganahan ako muli. Uh, kay ganahan ko mukuha sa kong gitara <laughs> and then play something on it. Mo gitna ko basis if kay ah grabe ka nindo toy kana like yeah, my inspired you know, oh, to do something. Grabe oi. You mentioned ganina sa bay like about this. This is something I don't know a lot about at all. Kani mga how do you pronounce it? Zin? 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 Uh, yeah. This um There, re- recently, there was an event, di ba? Uh, like, G- Cebu Zin Fest, oh, di na doon. Ito, uh, yeah, it was, kan- ang Zin basically is, kanang, daga naman ng Kuanon School of Thought regarding Zin, ano, kasi karoon art scenes. But for us, uh, we started, I st- dungan-dungan na sa tsaka ng pag-discover na ko sa Cebu Music, kaya kanang, uh, I discovered Zins as well uh, sa Cebu. It was around 2004, 2003. I had this friend, si Maricar. Uh, he helped, uh, she helped organize these SRE events. 
Ah. And then with that, kana nagbuhat siya o kana ang fanzine called Plug and Play. Yeah, fanzine, yeah. It's, a pl- uh, it's called Plug and yeah, Play. Yeah, that's okay. the name of the fanzine, Plug and Play niya. Uh, I ended up kana ang writing, like, uh, we call it scene reports. Mara siya kana ang kawag ito kana ang gig, what's happening with the kana ang gig. And also, like, music review. So, na siya ipangatang na kong mga CD from this local band. So, I ended up writing reviews for them. Yeah, murag, looking at it, looking back at it na, murag ka nang, murag, murag, di tingin ko ka, ako basra, tingalay sa kong, murag, very, <laughs> murag, cringy kayo ba? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, I've, I've been there also, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mo to, uh, ato, uh, siya, kong, niya kong introduce sa line-line ng mga zines at from Manila, and even from, like, kanang mga, at the time I was really kanang nanakay kanang kanang zine it, it's a personal zine kanang slug and latest and it's just this one girl from I don't know some part sa US and then but she more siya ang kuha niya is more siya blog before before there were blogs before the blog but ah. now you would say that uh, zines are the new blog and then blogs are the new zine it's a cycle so anyway kato mga um mo siya personal account niya yeah, maggenahan ko siya ang style of writing so mo to um, I ended up kanang doing uh, our my own version of that kanang fanzine with a friend yeah, and, uh, and then I uh, I also have kanang kanin uh, actually I brought some ba bayhat ng mga fanzine oh cool sige ba yeah yeah kay I want to ask you a little bit about that kay it's ako sa kwaad sige kay I it's only like the There was a time when I like, could think of it be because I, as you know, okay, I'm doing this podcast. So basically, I, I'm, in, I'm we're doing a sort of media. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw so, this in the uh, two versions. Actually, supposedly, kwantani ka ng brand every one, I twice every year, but kana ko say ka ng tap tapula. Ah, so it's hard. Uh, like, kay, going back, I was gonna say kay. The reason why, for example, there's zero three two, and you know, mm. I want to do podcasting is somehow, na inspired me ko before when I was younger. I used to have all these magazines, mm. but the magazines were all um, about my interests. Mm. So the first, my first magazine was like gaming magazines. Mm. Pagamaya kay to, but at some point it became guitar magazines, uh, guitar world, you know. guitar world. Gana daghan kay ko mga like, nika. I, I remember when I when I threw it out. I just threw out the bike when I get to. It was like a stack of this wow. height, and I like almost mga three or four feet. Ano yah? Ano ano? Kahit kayo na. Pila to katuig ni mga. But ba? Mura ko sige lang ko. Kana ng sa una you could go to like a used books bookstore. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, you can get them really cheap, one hundred pesos. Especially if like one year old na kape na. Yeah. Kahit the all of the ones that I bought were. Kana ng old na gud. Hindi ko kapalit o bago kaya bago mahal man. Mahal mahal no. Oh. But then, malingaw kaya po ko sa stories, mm. and then it's very actually reminiscent kayo ang mga Guitar World to a zine, I think. Ah, yeah, yeah, diba? in a way, oh. oh, like they'll have an interview, or sometimes mm. it's like, "What's your gear?" Yeah. Oh, kana kana. Kana very very oh. small, but they'll have a feature here mm, and there on sure. the other parts of Guitar World magazine, so like the tabs. Mm. No, but ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the way you have to play the the so the it's, uh, instruments, and that. And I remember I was thinking, oh, what if we try making like a zine for zero mm. three two? I tried it, langgod. Like, ah, I, kanang I saw like online, online oh. good, like how to fold a bond paper for uh, another time. Murag, murag magazine, murag booklet. Uh, na, booklet oh. Yeah, I found it very difficult to Did make. Yes, uh, especially sa una katong dipom dipom kay ko kibaw sa pag layout yun kay ang um, usay kanang dili magsunod nito ang page kanang first page like the page so not ah. kay manumano pa man to like nakoy printer but ang katong printer dili siya ka booklet so i ended up like nang nakatuon na sa gaon sa on pag layout ng in a way magsunod siya so mo nag mutay challenge yo sa na pag zine ang nang buhat og zine hmm. ako ba the, also the that one i didn't know how to do di mo ko kibaw na mga photoshop whatever illustrator uh. whatever programs you're using i don't know git pro the other thing that i found very difficult was intimidating kayo to look at a blank oh yeah, yeah 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 I know that feeling <laughs> yeah diba? like what am I gonna do here mm. I didn't have the I didn't know what to do ba 
It's not like riding. Amor, sige, if you see a blank page, eh, kailangan gid ka mo suot. Uh, suot lang ka, bahala, bate. Anya, later on, edit lang yeah, na. Yeah, you just yeah. take out what you need. Anana, whatever, bro. It felt very precious to look at the blank page yeah, yeah. <laughs> of the Z for whatever reason. Uh, no? Yeah, and then, kuhan sa da, if you, ang, 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 came from ka ng magazine, but ka ng zine siya, kayo mag, so, going back yan po sa DIY, yung mga mga ito. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you can do it in your, ka ng, unlike ka ng mga big magazines, nga ka ng, you have these uh, people who are ka ng, uh, set on doing like the layout, and set on doing the writing. Or even just hiring a printer to print everything. Yeah, yeah, diba? yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. So this one, like you can really do by yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Diba? Like yeah. uh, like this one, for example, like you printed this. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Yeah, staple. Yeah, staple. Oh, oh, no. No. So super no, no. simple. Super simple. What's that? Yeah, ang kwansa, this, you, you, wala kayo ka ng, like I said before, wala kayo ka ng pressure bit of. So, gana. So, how is, how do you distribute something like this, man? Uh, through events. Like, oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Like, most a reason nga, nga nga mag event, like, we want to put out something, like, we want, if we're releasing a, uh, a new album or a new kind of zine, uh, organized events. Mm. So, more na mo outlet. Aside from the kind of zine fest, may nana sa mga. Yeah, kaya the zine fest, more daghan, daghan na sad na. Mm, daghan. So, nasyak ngayon ko pag last, last, oh, last week, eh, mag, wow, daghan na, daghan na tao. Lingaw kayo bang event. Nga, you would see nga, more like, these creative people who are kind of really doing their thing, ba? Oh, but uh, Lingao, I feel like Lingao, Lingao gid siya. And yeah, so, with the zine, so, what's my reception sa mga tao? Like, like you, you do, you'll do an event, and then you give the zine, and No? Okay. Mm. I remember, oh, at least for me, I remember like we used to go to those events before in Outpost, mm. and there was that magazine, katong Byte. Ah, yeah, yeah, Byte. Byte oh. magazine. And yeah, I found, like, ganahan kay ko sa mm. Byte magazine before. Yeah, okay. yeah, it was it was really like a small. Uh, I mean, it was uh, like a funded zine. <laughs> oh, what a good one! Tali na contribute a few oh, a few koan, a few uh, issues. Yeah, ang koan sa ang migo sa ang mose ang mose ang sa na mo editor in chief sa bait kaya mose nagkatrabaho na ako dito sa Manila. Ah, yeah, okay. roommate yun may baso. Tapos yung mixtorya ka bait sa bait ano? But I really liked bait magazine. Yeah, like yeah. it was. It was Sanigid ba? Uh every time I'd see it like mm. in a bar, yeah. I'd make sure to get a copy. Yeah, ako tagduha. Yeah, I got yeah, tag sa amigo ana man. So it really helped kanang disseminate info about gigs and uh, not just kanang you know, kwansa about bands. Yeah, I think more than info, be yeah, you know, in a way, it was kind of like the culture. Yeah, yeah, it gave exactly. you a glimpse of one of the problems that I found with the internet, ba? Mm. Because if you're looking for information, dali kayo. Dali kayo. No? But you don't get a sense of mm. what it is like. Good. You don't... Mm, well, uh, no, way, tungod sa kuhan sa niya, kanang, parang ako, marag, tungod sa kadagan sa... Cho, uh, marag, uh, too much I, information. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Maybe. In a way, yeah. Marag, um, say ka nang, mubasa ka, dali ka ma-distract dito, so dili ka ka focus on what you're reading and what you're doing. Yeah. So, no, like, even with, even like, even with like, bite, like, I remember, you'd open it up to like, a feature or whatever, but mm. you'd get a sense of like, ah, okay, ingani ni siya, mm. like, this is what it feels like, or, yeah, or this exactly. band, this band feels like this. Like, I remember mm. one time seeing, like, the line divides oh. in, like, uh, oh, in the Byte magazine. Like, they were the front cover. Yeah, yeah. And then, I can't remember now exactly what the content was, but I was like, yeah, this is, this is the band. We're <laughs> excited. <the> like, <laughs> <band. laughs> it gets you a good sense. That's, like, going back to oh. physical yeah, artifacts. Yeah, physical copies. Um, oh, it's nice to have. Mm, it's to have. Uh, no? I said, man, yeah. And, um, Unlike kanang mga links nga nang maglisod kay pangitaon no ba sa mga wana kana kay ah uh, ganan ka mabasa mabasahan na dai nimo ba bitaw bitaw like it's it's there no yeah, so you do this under like uh, it's called pawn press pawn uh, like um ang kanya this 
till pawn records kaya ang pawn presses kanang I'm trying that's the new thing I'm trying to put up it's for books like uh, mostly literary uh, outputs Oh, really? Tell me yeah. about that. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like uh, um, fiction uh, books, ano? Uh, ah, fiction and short poetry, short stories. At mura, bago pa na ako nagigis, ako na kong gisawa yan. Good. Kaya, I have this friend nga, uh, he recommended me to a uh, kanang really writer, uh, good writer from uh, Mindanao. Yan, muna kanang, na, we should put put uh, put this out. So, katong, nag, uh, nag-release my book. Actually, we just released it uh, last May. Uh, What's it called? Uh, uh, intimate, uh, intimation of immortality. Mortality. Kanang the author is Anthony Tan. Yeah, he's a uh, palangkawad, the writer. Yeah, what uh, But that was the second book. The first book is this uh, collection of poetry said uh, from my friends at Sigration. So that's my new venture. Kaya marag ako lang suwain suwain kung kung marag put out of lain na kan. Hiling man sa ko. Na basa ginana so why not just you know, help other people put out their stuff ba? What's your motivation to do this by? Okay, like I think I you know, know like like pawn like for example like pawn records and then kani pawn press. This isn't your bread and butter. <laughs> no, not just that. No, like for example, okay. Uh, I'll talk to an artist, mm. you no, know, like a musician or whatever, and a, a painter or a graver. Sometimes they make money, sometimes they don't, yeah. you no. Know? Uh, but I, it's very clear to me why they're motivated. Mm. They get a piece of themselves out there in the world, mm. you no. Know? Like if you're a musician, you're heard. Uh, you know, it's your music. It's something that you created, and uh, and then, but what you are doing is that like an, I guess. You're also creating it in a way, but like these aren't. You're helping other people. Yeah, right? yeah. So, no? so what what motivates you? you no, know, uh, sharing. I like. I just like sharing. Kwan, if I find an artist or a writer that's really interesting, I mean, ang reward ana kay mga. Siguro in a way bragging rights nga ah nakatabang ko ane share or in a way mga kwan mga ano for selfish reasons kana bragging rights, but. On one way, sa kanang ganahan ako, mo kanang tabang sa artist or writer to put out their stuff. Like, for example, kanang mura kanang uh, sauna, hiling mo kanang buhat-buhat o kanang mixtape, mixtape, ba? Kanang maghihatag na ako bitaw sa umigo or kanang Jake's Baron nga. Kanang, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nga nang personally curated music. Mura ginana bitaw. Uh. So, good, it evolved or it, inana, it came from there bitaw. You you find joy in sharing good stuff. Mm. Have you ever felt compelled to do it yourself? Like you said, you dabbled in some music. You were writing a little bit. Um. Yeah. Actually, kana ang ang among nami upcoming. Karon, I can't afford to have like kana banda banda kaya medyo limited na kaya on time. But on my free time, kana I. Nagbuhat-buhat ako music ng mga bedroom projects, mm. ano, mga beats, mga kuhan, mga kuhan, FL Studio, Ableton, yun na. So, I double with those as well. So, right now, we're putting, ang among next project is, anong, we're putting out like, anong, yun na, all over the Visayas. It's one of our upcoming uh, projects. What like, do you mean? Like, uh, ang among nitawag ito is, kanang beast track, like, a, uh, 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 kanang a collection of kanang compilation of kanang bed, uh, bedroom producers and kanang experimental music uh, done by producers then sa uh, by pro- music producers ba are you gonna put it like a compilation album yes ah lingaw na yung mga concert um in ah uh, na 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 ko yung kakuha na naman mula ka ang kakolab na ko taga taga Manila there's this outfit called Uh, green papaya green you know, papaya uh, na sila ay kanang there kanang magdugay long 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 running ko na sila kanang mga decorate uh, art shows and uh, na mga cultural stuff na uh, art uh, na and then na sila ang nag-host actually last year sila ang nag-host sa uh, v, this, this thing called Viva Xcon like uh, Visayas uh, Visual Arts Conference or something yeah mo to nakamit 
nakoila sa sailang ka ng staff or staff na ng mga organizer dito then muna nagka-collab ni nga we'll try to put out ka ng music from like Visayas like producers ano so muna ay, so sige daw po tanan no <laughs> <laughs> anyway kato na appeal ko ato nga ko an compilation na i have like maybe four songs three songs in that mm. compilation okay yeah okay I just wanted to ask, in a way, for, I mean, I kind of, um, not that I know the answer, but makarelate ko, because, you know, this podcast, mm. it, it's, I don't, ma- I don't, I'm not making anything, I'm just talking to people who do stuff, diba? Not sa format, I don't Kuan ba kanang very free willing without like uh, it's more of a conversation sa ganyan. Oh yeah. Di kay kung ako sa di edit ba kay time consuming kay. Ako di maje. Yeah, di ba daw. Eh. So like, no but like kanang like what you're doing is you're showing you're you're shining light on other people mm-hmm. sa good ba. No? And then uh, I feel like that's important also. Le- it's It's not that, it's not that kana marag. These people, the 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 artists, mm. whatever they, they're the writers, whatever they they need people to to help them yeah, on yeah, yeah, but well, do their work. Yeah, exactly. Good, de ba? Mm. Especially, it's hard. Yeah, you know? it's really hard. Kanan, at least na kaya climate kung sa kanan, even with kanan. Being a writer, or being a although sayo na ang pagkuan put out of music, but and ang bringing people in to listen or to watch the show, mag you, you still need kanang kinang lang yung mga community ana take sa community for uh, yeah. Yeah, more ikaw like ikaw you genuinely enjoy doing it, ba? Mm. Di ba? Yeah. Anyway, we've been talking for a while na. Uh, I don't want to take your time. <laughs> oh. For, uh, is there anything you want to add? Um, um, na kuya ko mo promote. Sure. Uh, nami na kuya talk kuya dili sa talk kanang murag kuan siya kanang conference of kanang different creators at it at kuan the company is it the company basta as IT Park it's organized by Happy Garage and uh, Tropical, Tropical Forest. Uh, yeah, so kato. It's gonna be on September. 12? Uh, yeah, I think it's 12. Mm, I'll make sure. Anyway, I'll, I'll link to that in the show yeah, yeah. notes also. Yeah. No. And then, We're gonna, aware of um, I think si Mark uh, asked if I could do uh, something, but I'm not sure yet. Did you interview si Mark? Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Lingaw to kong Mark. Lingaw to kong Mark. Ako tayo recommend ba? You should talk to him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nindot yeah. to kong yeah. Mark ba? He was yeah. like a really good interview. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah you can have a talk there. What's uh, the talk about? Oh, pa ko di pa ko sure. Siguro ko at how to katagang ulo, how to run a non-profit business. Yeah, wala nga. So ingest ba yun? But uh, kana you should go and watch or go kana go to that event. Kaya in dagan kaya mga ngilngig like Dan Matutina, na uh, mga artists from Japan and all over dagan ng kwan. Yeah, I'll link to that in the show notes. Man, so, Ah, oh, si Chad, musta nah, si Chad? Si, Chad. Oh, okay. si Carl from Mandawi Nights. Mm. Can um see, I'm going to link to that in the show notes. Where where can people find you online? Whatever you want to uh, add lang ba sa the search for Pon or sa Instagram Pon Pre, Pon Records or Pon Press. Po, oh, Pon Records. Oh, yeah, sa mga sa website ponrecords.com. Sige. Okay, Perfect. thanks, bye. Thank you. Okay, hope you enjoyed that episode with Eric. It was really good talking to him. Good to find out what else is happening in the scene. I mean, the, this podcast in a way is is a way for me to connect to what's happening without actually having to go to the gigs. You know, because I just, I just uh, lifestyle choices currently, man, can't go to those gigs. So, so. That doesn't mean I still can't contribute, can't enjoy it. And um, doing this podcast is one way to have that connection. Thank you, Eric, for helping me out with that. 
Thank you, Cube Gallery. Thank you, Honduro Pizza. And thank you, Kent Combs, for sponsoring the podcast. The music from this podcast is Piano March by Audia Nautix. And if you are tired of my intro music, and I mean, I'm not really tired of it, but it would be cool to see it change. So the one way to help nudge me in that direction is to head over to patreon.com slash 032. That's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash 032 in letters. Uh, you'll find details there on how to support the podcast. And if you do choose to support, you're going to get exclusive content, uh, free merchandise, and even a way for me to change my intro and outro music to hopefully something different from but you know i get it if you still want to help and don't have and don't want to shell out any cash feel free to share this episode in social media and um i'll see you next tuesday ciao